Hey guys, so today I have a mini designer bag haul that I want to show you guys and I call it mini because I only have three bags that I want to show you and it's also a special kind of haul because usually when I do designer hauls I go home, I sit down, I'm like looking at the receipt and I'm crying softly to myself because I've spent so much money on things that I don't really need I mean let's be honest, who needs like 500 bags right? You really don't need a bag at all but this time's a little bit different because it was my graduation and so my mom and my aunt was nice enough to buy me these bags. I only purchased one of the bags by myself and um, yeah, I'm really excited. Most of the bags that I got are on sale so hopefully I'm able to link all the links below so you guys can get those bags as well and let's get started. Oh my god guys, I'm like sweating profusely right now because I have to turn on my air conditioning or else you won't even be able to hear me in this video. But now that I have my lights on and I'm sitting next to like 900 degree window, I'm trying not to die. Also, I hope like my sweat isn't like caught on camera because I feel like my hair is sticking all over my neck. It's kind of gross. It's kind of gross. So I'm going to start with the bag that I purchased myself and it is the Marc Jacobs Mini Domo bag, which looks like this. Originally, I was going to get the large one in the black, which is just an all black nylon with gold zippers on it. But it was about $200 and it was a lot bigger than this one and I thought that I wasn't going to use the bag at school anyway so why would I want such a big book bag. I decided to go down the size and got this one instead. So this one would be perfect if I was going to Six Flags or some kind of small adventures especially since it's the summer there's a lot of those music festivals and I thought that maybe I could just bring this and strap it onto my back and it would be nice and easy for some water bottles, some like my phone, my keys, a light jacket, everything would fit in here and it would be really good. Now this bag originally was $178 at Macy's, but it was 50% off so I made it around $89. Plus I had an extra 20% off coupon on it and it ended up being like about $72 maybe. I can't exactly find my receipt yet, but um, I know it's around $70. So it was a really good find, especially if it's Marc Jacobs. So the last two bags that I want to share with you guys are the ones that I gotten for my graduation gift. And the first one I want to share with you guys is the one that my aunt got me, which is this Tory Burch little bag. And um, I don't remember the name of it, so I'm probably going to have to search inside the bag for the tag. It is the Robinson Shrunken Boxy Satchel. So essentially, it is just a really small bag, just perfect for your necessities, and it's made of saffiano leather in a mint kind of turquoise color, which is perfect for the summer. And it has these two little handles, which I don't think I'm ever going to use by itself, because the bag is small enough if you compare it to the size of my hand. It's really small, so if I went out and held the bag like this, it would look like I stole a little girl's purse, so I'm just not going to go out like that. I'm probably going to stick to using the crossbody strap, but this one is perfect because it's just the right amount of size for everything that I need. It fits my phone in it and even the iPhone 6 would fit in this. It's perfect for keys, lip gloss, and just a bag of tissues maybe. And you're perfect to go. So I love this one so much. Moving on to the last bag that I want to show you guys. It is again another Tory Burch bag. And this one is called the... Um, it is called the Robinson Perforated Mini Double Zip Tote. And I did a video on one of my school bags earlier this year, and maybe even been last year. I'll link it down below or somewhere in the screen. But it was another Tory Burch bag, and it was the original double zip Saffiano leather tote, which is a lot bigger than this one right now. But I decided a smaller one would be better, and my mom knew that I liked this, so she got this one for me. It's called the perforated one because it has all of these little like cutouts of squares in it. So you can see all of these white little squares is actually like um. You can actually poke like a really small pin through it, so it's not just a pattern on the bag, it's an actual cutout through the leather. And again, it is made of saffiano leather, which is the best kind of leather ever because it can stand by itself. And also it's scratch proof, so if you have a cat or if you have like crazy claw nails, you won't like damage your bag. But I love this. I've been using this for a school bag and right now, although it is the summer or summer is approaching, I still do have school. I'm taking summer classes so I can graduate earlier because I don't want to be in college for the rest of my life. So I'm doing everything that I can to graduate earlier, which is why I'm still taking classes in the summer. But this bag has been absolutely perfect. It fits my iPad, it fits my little journal so I can write down everything that I need to remember, my pens, everything that I have to use. It fits in this bag, which is perfect. So I love it. So you have reached the conclusion of this mini designer haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will link everything that I mentioned down below or somewhere in the screen. So you guys can go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.